says you're live. I'm live. Look, we're uh, we're a little early here. We're going to be doing how to draw a cruise ship. At least that's the plan. <laughs> So uh, right now I can't see any of the chat or anything, but I think Kimber can. So um, welcome, Bon Beanie, everybody. If you are tuning in, look, uh, you are welcome to just watch, and you can always watch this back. But if you want, grab a writing utensil, a pencil, a pen, a marker, a paintbrush, whatever you've got, some paper, a digital canvas like the one I'm using, and uh, and draw along with me. We're going to figure out how to draw a cruise ship. And uh, we're going to do more than one cruise ship. And, and we're not going to do like a serious, big, realistic, painterly painting of a cruise ship. That's not what this is about. This is to teach you how to draw a cruise ship in a few different styles so that if you are maybe a creator and you want to create a cruise ship for a logo, for some sort of thing you want to put in social media, for a video that you can create your own cruise ship. And, and here's the thing. There are a lot of pieces of cruise ship clip art that you can find. And uh, I'll even show you some of that here in a second. We'll hey, go to... Hey, everyone. Hey, Daniel. If I just do a quick Google search of cruise ship clip art, you know, you get a lot of stuff here. Look at all these cruise ships. Now, here's what I would recommend doing. If as you as we go through here, you're probably going to recognize some of these because there's a lot. There are a lot of cruise creators, and a lot of them have found these cruise ship clip arts to use as their own. And there's nothing wrong with that, but maybe you want it to be a little unique. You know, like I'm looking through here, and I don't want to have the same exact cruise ship logo as as somebody else for my logo or anything. So I want to make it a little unique. And um, what I'm going to do tonight is. I'm going to show you how to draw a cruise ship based on an actual ship. So all the ones I'm seeing here are pretty generic. Oop, that one looks familiar. Uh, pretty generic. And so I want, I want to be able to draw a cruise ship and make it specific to a cruise line or to an actual ship. So that's what we are going to do. Mary says hi. Hey, Mary. So I've chosen a few ships. Obviously, the cover art for this, if you saw the cover art, is the Mardi Gras, the Carnival Mardi Gras. But we're not going to start there. We're going to start with a different ship here. And I think the one that I'd like to start with is, let's see here. We're not going to do that one. I kind of tried to choose some ships that, that we're going to be on. Let's start with this one right here. So uh, this ship is, what ship is that, Kimbra? It's the freedom of the seas. Now she's not right by the microphone, so that might not have been very loud. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this photo I found as a reference. And I'm I'm going to try and draw most of these tonight in this profiled view because again, my goal is not to just draw a cruise ship as an art project, but to make this super simple and easy. So the first thing I do when I'm drawing anything is I look at it and I try and simplify it and break it down into some shapes. And that's easier to do with a cruise ship than say a cruise creature because cruise ship is basically made up of some shapes. Let me show you what I mean here. We've got kind of this long, well, let me choose a color you can actually see. Joe says hi. Hey Joe. Uh, it's got this sort of long rectangle. Still can't see it very well. No, that's, that's better. Here, we're going to do this. We're going to switch to a marker or a pen. Wow, you know, I know what the problem is. I've got it on multiply. How about now? There we go. Oh, so so here, one of the advantages of digital, I can just make a straight line. But I mean, this I can break this down into some pretty basic shapes. And I mean, basically, it's like a rectangle with one pointy side right there, right? And this is and that's what this is too. It's kind of two slopey sides and one straight line. I mean, this is a pretty simple shape, and now we've already got the basis of our of our cruise ship, and then we can just add, you know, these little shapes here. And tracing like this, I wouldn't say do this for your final design, but it's a good way to maybe do some preliminary sketches 
And you can, you know, I'm going to leave off a lot of the details here. I'm not going to draw every single window or anything because that's just insane, right? So that's not that's not the goal here. So let me clear that and go back to a uh, normal layer. We'll go, we'll go blue, and um, and we're going to try and draw this Royal Caribbean ship. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of sketch it out. I'm going to do the bottom of the ship, and I'm going to kind of cartoonize it cartoonize it a little bit. So I'm going to make it a little less long and I'm going to maybe exaggerate some lines here. We'll give it the, the bottom of the bottom of your cruise ship when you're drawing it. It can be a straight line like this, or you could kind of go up with some waves or you can get fancy, whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and then I'm going to just get some of these basic ideas. So, you know, this, this ship, it has this kind of curvy arch, arch slant on the back. And then, of course, the one on the front. And this is, again, Dave Brandy, say hey. hey, Dave and Brandy. Uh, this is your basic kind of classic cruise ship here. But we want to make it a Royal Caribbean ship. So how do we do that? Well, uh, you know, Royal Caribbean always has this funky looking thing on not on all their ships, but a lot of them. So I really want to emphasize that I it looks like a flying saucer to me. So I'm just going to draw a look at this, just a rectangle. I'm going to connect it there. And it's got like this big fin that comes up right there and maybe a little dealy on top. Right now, it already, it's starting to look like a Royal Caribbean ship, right? Because that's a Royal Caribbean ship thing. And, and this is pretty keeping it pretty simple, pretty basic. And I am doing this on my iPad digitally, but you could just as easily do this on a pencil and paper if you wanted to or, or lots of other uh, digital software. I'm just going to put this in here. And right there, you've got your basic cruise ship design. Now, uh, to make this a little bit more cruise shippy, <laughs> we're going to maybe add this big window here. Uh, I'm seeing this right here that makes this ship look a little bit different. So I'm going to look and see where, where does this hit with this stuff up on top. And that's going to help me to figure out where to put that. And I'm just going to draw it like a little, little rectangle there. And then there's a lot of lifeboats there. I don't want to draw however many lifeboats that is, but I'm going to add a couple just because we're doing a representation. Look, it's just like a little, like a little hamburger shape here. We're going to do two there and maybe we'll do, oops, three here. Keeping it simple, right? Now you could get this in and do another one here. I don't know. I don't think you need to though. This is good enough for me. I'm going to get... Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, neat. <laughs> um, notice I put these little slotted window sections. I guess these are like balconies on the back here. These these are the little characteristics you're looking for if you're trying to do a very specific ship or cruise line. Now, once we get to this point, I like to go a little more generic. So um, I'm just going to draw. I'm not going to draw all these windows. You know, I it would just be a mess if I did that. I'm just going to do some basic windows right there. And maybe I'll do um, a few here. And then I'll do a few more here. And this is pretty sloppy. Now, if I was going to, do I want the Royal Caribbean logo there? You know, just like a little insignia of that. If, if I wanted to uh, make this more detailed, now what, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in uh, over light pencil, if this was a traditional media, or in this case, I'm going to go in on another layer. I'm going to lighten this one a little bit here. And I'll change colors just so you guys can, can see. We'll give it a, a purple color, sharpen my pencil a little bit. And I'm going to just go into a little more detail. Maybe that's a little too sharp. And I'm just going to work on all of these little shapes and try and get them exactly the way I want them. You know, try and get these to be more even. You could even spend more time than I'm going to spend in this video because I want to draw more than one ship and get this to be perfect. But this is something anybody can do. You know, people always say, I can't draw, I can't draw. Well, you can draw because if you can draw basic shapes like rectangles and ovals and circles, you can. You just have to learn to see them in uh, whatever it is you're trying to draw. And here's, I'm going to add this little, See that little notch there to make it look like it's kind of the bridge kind of standing out. 
and you can color this in. You can leave it just black and white, or in this case, purple and white, whatever you want to do. But you, you see what I'm getting at, hopefully, here, that you can, you can make your own ship. Here we go. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and type those in, and I'm sure Kimber will will read those to me. And there's a little there's a little Royal Caribbean logo up there. You know, you could get that in more detail if you wanted. You could even take and find a, an image of that and um, and paste it on there, resize it, or what I would say is you know trace over it, color over it. We'll give this one a little bit of wave action here. Your mom said this is a surprise. Wasn't expecting to see you today. <laughs> Well, hello, mom. So yeah, and again, I'm I'm not going to take too much time on this, but you guys get the idea. So this would be the way that I might represent the freedom of the seas. And then if I get rid of this one, and I could keep going over this and make it more detailed. Maybe I would just add some lines here. And it's you can look at this hopefully, and you can say that is a that's a Royal Caribbean ship right there. Let's try another one though. Let's try a different species of ship. Tony says hello. Hey Tony. Uh, let's see what we can find here. I also that's my practice drawing there. Here is here's another ship that Kimber and I are going to be going on, uh, and it's a very distinct looking ship, and that is the the Scarlet Lady, the Virgin Scarlet Lady. So you know, again, I'm looking at the ship. What makes this ship different? What makes it unique? What sets it apart from other ships? I'm not talking about like the fact that they have no buffet, right? I'm looking at physical characteristics of the ship. And it's very modern, very futuristic looking. I guess that's appropriate considering it's Richard Branson's ship. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just to get it out of our way a little bit here. And that actually is not a bad idea to make it smaller because if you're like me, one of my big problems is I, I like to make things look too detailed, too realistic, and I don't always want that look. So by by making it smaller, my eyes can't see those details. And so it's going to help me to um, to maybe represent this ship in a more simplified way. You know, some of those clip arts we saw are very simple and that can be a very desirable look for your, for, depending on, you know, what you're doing. Sometimes a real simple basic thing is exactly what you want. Sometimes you want a little bit more detail, but uh, you know, you got to find what works for you. Now, this ship just reminds me of like the Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I'm going to give it more of a curve here and I'm going to kind of exaggerate that a little bit. I think it looks it does look a little bit like a bull, like one of those bullet trains, maybe, yeah. you know, and, and if I was going to color it, I could really get this, this shape in here, even if I just wanted to do like, kind of tone it a little bit and just color shade in part of it. But already you're going, well, this is not your normal cruise ship, right? This is something's different about this cruise ship. And people that are familiar with the Virgin line may start to be able to pick up on this. You know, we've got, we've got this kind of rectangle here yeah. it does look like a tennis shoe you can do like a foot here with some some socks <laughs> we won't do that uh but uh yeah they've got whoops switch to an eraser we've got uh this kind of round thing here it comes up and then there's little stacks on here and maybe there's four of them maybe there's 10 of them you know when you draw in cartoon people you can draw four fingers or whatever you can you don't have to draw every smokestack you know that's a that's a trap that you get into and if you're trying to make it really realistic then you can do that but you don't need to now this ship has it doesn't look like it has many lifeboats i don't know are they going to be able to take care of everybody if there's an emergency i don't i don't know Maybe there are. So I'm only so. I'm only putting two in the front and one in the back. So that's you know a lot less than what they even have there. And then um, you know we'll put a few windows down here. I'm putting them in little rows, so you don't have to draw every window. But doing something like that can kind of give you the flavor of a ship. Now you could draw these staterooms as lines like this. Uh, I don't really like that look. So I'm just going to go back to my more traditional circles. 
And if you were doing this bigger, you could draw this as a circle and then color it in with a different color if you wanted to make, make it look like that. And you can make decisions like, do you want your windows to be on top of each other or are you better off kind of staggering them? These are just little design choices that can make your, your image look different, but also can maybe sell your cruise line. That does look like a tennis shoe. Stacy said, lifeboats, that ship is unsinkable. <laughs> so maybe I want to do little dashes for windows. You know, I wasn't really feeling those circular windows on this ship. It didn't seem like it went. So maybe I'm going to do little dashes on there. Again, I'm not going to go in and draw every window. And you could take your time and do this with more detail than I'm doing here. But there we go. Look at that. And then if I go through and I... We'll do this one in red since it's virgin. Make this a little lighter. You know, I can go through and I can uh, I can add more of those details and get it just just right. So, but basically, you can draw any ship you want by using this technique. And what you'll find is that. There are certain things that most carnival ships have or most Royal Caribbean ships have. Now, there are exceptions, of course. There's always exceptions. But um, but there's things that – so if you just wanted it to be a Royal Caribbean ship or a Norwegian ship, there are things you could do to kind of sell that look. Our life boat in here. I'm going to make this water nice and thick. Looks like it's just – Standing on the water here. Well, floating. Hopefully it's floating on the water. And this one, I feel like to really get this, I would need to color it in or shade that kind of curve that's on here. I could also put the little Virgin logo. Virgin logo is, I believe, it's up here. And I think it's also like there's a little mermaid or something with a flag here. But these little details, you don't have to draw a perfect mermaid with flag. You can just kind of indicate that. And uh, it'll get your point across. Just put a little shading in there. Now, if you guys do decide to draw some cruise ships and you want to share them, feel free to share them in the Fantastic Cruising community so we can take a look. And I would say, you know, like you kind of saw one of the cruise ships I did when I was basically practicing for this live stream. And, and that's what you want to do. You're not going to get the perfect drawing the first time. When I do a drawing, I will do a bunch of them. And I'll just do real loose drawings. And then I start to find the things I like. Oh, I like this about this one. I, I like this about that one, but I don't like that. And then you start to put that together. And you can get the look you want, like with the windows and, and stuff, to get to get it to where, just where you want it. But again, these there's no complicated shapes here. This is a very basic, simple design. And you've got a cruise ship or a new tennis shoe. Yeah, I can't get the tennis shoe out of my <laughs> All right, let me turn that one off here. And I'll show you, let's see. Here's the um, here's the version one I did as as my practice one, and I'll show you the um, oops that's the Mardi Gras. Where's my Royal Caribbean one here? Do, 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 do. Oh, getting ahead of myself. Where did you go? Oh, here it is. Here's the Royal Caribbean one I did earlier. So you see, I took maybe a little more time. I would use that, that sort of technique and look how I just kind of indicated the Royal Caribbean logo right here on this one. Um, you know, these are, these are kind of loosey goosey sketchy still, but you could go in and you could make them more solid or more detailed, that sort of thing. So I got too many layers open here, Kimber. I don't even know where, where all my layers are. Too many layers, lots and lots of layers. Now I did this ship. That's the one I sort of, so I, here's a good example. I took this one, right? And then I turned it into this. So um, basically 
you can see I made some changes and stuff to the Mardi Gras. And this one's really cartoony and stuff. But uh, I know a lot of people are looking forward to sailing on the Mardi Gras. So I thought that would be a fun ship to draw for you guys, even though I did kind of already do it. But we'll go back to blue for this one. And we'll do the Mardi Gras. So, uh, you know, the, the thing about the Mardi Gras is it's got, of course, it has the the famous whale tail of carnival, but then it's also got that bow color that they've added to some of their other ships too. So I really want to capture that because uh, that's what really makes me think Mardi Gras. It's got a pretty, pretty sharp bow. You know, some of these ships, it's real long, but not so much on the Mardi Gras. It looks like it's might just be the angle too that I have of this. And then this line sits right above the water, which is really cool. I love this design on these new carnival ships. I just think it's beautiful. There, and there's actually a little, it's a little red line, and we got the blue line there. And then you notice on this, there's like this little space here. I don't know what that is exactly. Somebody out there probably does. But it's like a little space carved into there. I'm going to move this down a little bit so I have room. But this is the basic, you know, hull of the ship. They've got, you know, Mardi Gras written there. And then if we want to draw the Mardi Gras, you know, it's a big ship. So there's, again, they got to fit a lot on here. So this, we can exaggerate. And I, I like to take this up pretty high on this ship. And then if I look here, you know, it kind of does steps up here, kind of has a divider here. And there's our, there's our line right there. You could do this little indent, but I don't know that that's necessary. So I want to kind of capture all of that. So this is about, this is about the halfway point, it looks like, roughly. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a cartoon ship. So I'm just going to draw this over here like so. Step that up a little bit there. And again, these are pretty basic rectangular type shapes. We're going to draw our lifeboats, two little hamburgers back here. You've got a, you've got a comment from Rowan. Oh, hey, Rowan. He said, With as much time you put into your art, have you ever delved into the world of clay sculpting? Your mom had some super sculpty I played with a few years ago. I think you'd enjoy the layers of fun, Mr. Shrek. <laughs> um, oh, and look, I see a mistake that I made. This should be right here. So that's one of the things to look for when you're when you're drawing. Um, Rowan, I have done a little bit of sculpture with Sculpey. Uh, it's a medium I always feel like I can do really well on and then don't. But um, but it is it is a medium. I've actually really enjoyed working with real clay too. I did a I've got to work with that a couple of times, but that's harder because you have to have a kiln and stuff for that. But I do enjoy it. Just not just not my best medium. Hey, Adam some... says hello. Hey, Adam. So now the Mardi Gras, of course, has the big funnel. We want to get that. It looks like a – and I'm going to exaggerate this funnel. In fact, I'm going to make it bigger because this is a carnival ship, you know. And is the funnel really that big? No, but we want to really exaggerate that this is a carnival ship. So it's got the little smokestack there, you know, the little curve. Um, we're going to put – I'm going to stick this out a little bit for the bridge again. Tyler Show says, hey, hey, y'all. Hey, Tyler. Maybe we'll we'll put a little bit of detail up there. And then we'll just add some windows here. A couple down here. And I'm doing this real loose. And if I wanted to, I could go in and then make all these more, you know, more accurate circles and, and stuff. Uh, but I want to get the rooms back here. And then, of course, this is the Mardi Gras. And the Mardi Gras is not only is it a big ship, but it's known for that roller coaster. So, you know, we want to really show that roller coaster on here and really bring it out. So I'm going to just exaggerate the snot out of this roller coaster. Ian says, good day, guys. Hope you're both doing well. Hey, Ian. And this is going to come up in the front. 
actually maybe we'll we'll do this too you know i don't draw roller coasters a lot so it's going to take a little trial and error but you can keep practicing at it and get it just right oops now it looks like kind of a mess right now maybe i want to get a, a little loop over here too but I really want to, you know, exaggerate that because this is the Mardi Gras. This says the Mardi Gras. And if somebody sees this, especially if you add some color to it, they're probably going to know what ship it is. And I'm going to try a different technique than what I did for the cover. I'm going to try and do this one in more of, a, of an ink. So if you were doing this on paper, you could use a Sharpie or something to try and get this one just right. And we'll try and make it more solid colors and flat lines and stuff like that. And by the way, if, if you like this kind of video, you know, let, let us know, let us know in the comments, let us know because I like drawing for people and drawing in general. So I'll do more of them. I know I did a poll not that long ago about what kind of drawing tutorials everybody would like to see. And if you just like watching me draw, that's cool. But I really want to encourage you to try and draw because I think everybody can. I like just watching you draw. I mean, that's fine. I like watching people draw too. But hopefully I'll inspire you guys to, to draw. Maybe Kimbra will do, be doing one of these at some point. She'll be doing a, a tutorial on how to draw something. Clay one time. You did, yeah. Yeah, Rowan, we have done some clay for sure. Um, I'll do this here. Put this in there. I don't know if they, I wonder if they can hear your voice. Can you guys hear Kimbra when she's talking? Because the way we have this set up, like the microphone's right by my face. So I'm probably at least a lot louder than she is. But that's usually how it is anyway. Get that bridge in there. Again, I'm not gonna. I'm still not gonna take a ton of time on this because, you know, I don't want to keep you guys here all night long. But we'll try and add a little color to this one. Emily says, "I like drawing competitively." Competitively. And we had so much fun. Everybody can hear me. Can oh, that's me? good. That is good. Doesn't sound like you're talking to yourself anymore. <laughs> I don't even know what these things are that I put up here. You know, and if I was really doing this, I would look at a much closer picture of the Mardi Gras. If I was, you know, going to use this for something other than just this tutorial to make sure that I'm not getting something dramatically wrong. Now, we'll try and get this roller coaster right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to draw this roller coaster in. That'd be a really sharp turn right there. And if you were doing this, you'd want to do it with pencil if you're not doing it digitally, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase some of this when I've got it the way I want it. But I really want to get this roller coaster in here so let's see if we put the track here i could even put a little car on here i guess maybe we'll try this out and i'm just trying to figure this out as i go there we go there we go you can kind of tell it's a roller coaster here's something i'm doing to make these rails in the back i'm making them thinner so that kind of tells us that they're in the background. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the funnel. And this is where I may have to, well, maybe I won't have to erase. Well, I'm going to have to erase a little bit for this part here. We'll do this. Just kind of erase this out here.
Now, notice I'm not drawing this part down here, that design, because I'm going to add that with my color. So now I'm going to add some color to this drawing. And I'm going to pick kind of a carnival blue here. And I'm going to color underneath here. Now, this is one of the advantages of digital is I can color under my lines like that. I don't have to worry about coloring in the line as much. And I'm going to draw this right here. And I'm going to color all these windows in blue as well. I should have done this front one in blue, but I already done it black. Here we go. It's a lot of windows to color. Imagine having to clean all the windows on a cruise ship. I mean, I know they, it's not just one person that does it, but it's got to be a tedious job. I mean, you see them out there, right, doing that. We're going to go with this bright orange for our lifeboats. I'm just going to color the top of those. And you can see adding this color starts to really give a certain character and look to the ship. Wait till I add the red, it's going to pop. But it's really starting to sell it as, as a cruise ship now for me, like a, like a specific branded cruise ship, shall we say. Color in the top of the funnel. Oops, I went too far. You've gone too far. Again, if you were doing this with marker, that would have been time to start over. But since it's digital, I don't have to worry about it. Just make sure you know where all your marks go. That's all I'm saying. And maybe just for uh, for fun, we'll add a little bit of red in here, you know, just, just a little bit to make it look more interesting, balance those colors out. And then we've got, and this will be tricky to get because I made that really close. But we want to get this kind of line here. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Of course, having this ability to do this helps straighten my line out. But if I was doing this with like marker or something, I would be a lot more, I'd take a lot more time doing that. And then we can go to like a nice gold color and just kind of, I'm not going to actually write the whole Mardi Gras because it's too small. But just like hinting at it like that, We've got it. And then we're going to add some water here. So I'm going to go on top of my black lines. We'll get a nice, pretty ocean color. And we could do this a lot of different ways. I'm going to make my marker nice and big and just give it some waves here. Let's color that in. This is why you'd want to do it in pencil till you figure out where all these are gonna go, unless you're working digitally. And then it goes quicker. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just doing little swirlies. See that? Just little swirlies and it's making it look like the water going behind the boat. Now, if I wanted to give this a colored background, maybe we'll give it like a, like a sky like a sky blue background here. Whoops. Bear with me. That was not my intention. Let's try that again. There we go. That was the problem. Um, and then I'm going to color that ship in. I'm not going to color it in pure white because it probably wouldn't be pure white. Let's go underneath that so I can be quicker. I can just draw this whole thing. There's a cool advantage to digital. I can just color the outline of this. And I don't even know what color the roller coaster is, but you could make it in that color. It might make it look cooler. There we go. Boom. And there we have it the Carnival Mardi Gras, just like that. So I hope that you guys have 
watched this video and thought, you know what? I could do that. I could draw a cruise ship, find some cruise ship references, or, you know, like I said, go back and look at some of these, um, some of these different um, cruise ship clip arts and, and copy them, draw them identical, and then give it your own spin, your own flavor. You know, there's, there's the, the front on one there. Some are at, at kind of an angle. I mean, look at, look at the different designs, look at the different styles that people have used and figure out which one you like. And that's different, right? Anyway, that is going to do it for us tonight. Just a, just a fun little live. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a good evening. Let us know if you liked it. Let us know what else you'd like to see us do for drawing tutorials in the future. And with that, we'll say good night. <laughs>